welcome to start part tutorials in this session we'll be dealing with the rcc building subjected to different types of slab loads as shown in the figure up to seven stories so as you can see the building is of seven spans on one side it is 3.5 meters each and on the other side they are divided into three spans three type spans so initially we'll draw from here to here then from here to here and we'll combine the both so let us begin start pro select new project select space give name give units as meter and kilonewton select next select add beam finish So now you go to geometry, select run structural wizard and as per the figure it is 7 spans of 3.5 meter each long length wise and width wise there are two spans 4.5 meters and 1.5 meter so we select frame models bay frame give length as 24.5 meters number of spans will be 7 and height will be 3 meters number of spans will be 1 meter width will be 6 meters number of spans will be 2 meter S select width wise the spans select 4.5 and 1.5 select apply so you can see this is our model we need to transfer this to main start pro screen ok so you can view it in 3d view you can see as per our figure there isn't a beam here so we need to take out this beam select this beam and select delete button then you can also see that there aren't columns here this three and here three and here and here so you need to remove those columns so you select those particular columns and select delete you can see that there are columns here but they are not here so this need to be removed these columns both of them well we are done with one part of the building now we need to do the other part which is of 7 spans and 4.5 meter width so select geometry select run structural wizard select frame models bay frame length will be 24.5 and number of spans will be 7 and the span length will be first 2 or 3.5 next is 4 meters and next is 2.5 meters Four meters, two point five meters, four meters. Okay. Height will be three meters. 
width will be 4.5 meters span is 1 select apply now you have created your model you need to shift this and apply to your main start for screen to the original structure so in select transfer model yes coming to this dialog box you need to select the values actually you can see as per grid it has started here and this distance is 6 and it is in positive z direction so we select plus 6 select ok 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 so you can see since this was 6 meters we selected 6 meters in positive z direction and the structure got attached to it now as per our figure there are columns here 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 ok no problem once the building is formed you can apply so here there are nodes and beams which are irregular in number due to deleting few of them so we need to rearrange them so we select the entire structure go to geometry select renumber select nodes select yes ok similarly select renumber select members select yes and select accept so now they are arranged exactly as per our requirements once the re renumbering is over you can go to general tab and give the property rectangle property or else you can give trapezoidal or else circular but we select rectangle point three five by point two five select the entire structure assign it to the entire structure once this is over you need to select the entire structure and raise the structure to seven stories by using translational repeat by going into geometry select number of steps seven and default spacing will be three so this got in x direction select ctrl z select the entire structure go to geometry select translational repeat select 7 steps give default spacing as 3 since the height we took is 3 meters and global direction will be y select ok you can view the top view as it is in our original figure now we go to supports select definite view give support as pinned support select support select the bottom nodes assign to the bottom nodes then coming to loads and definitions we select loads and definitions select load case details load ke dead load loading type will be dead add close as per our figure 
load is 6 kilo newton per meter square in this three and this three this three and this three and 7 kilo newton per meter square in the smaller rectangles and 8 kilo newton per meter square in the bigger one so select dead load select add go to floor loads select treasure as minus 6 kilo newton per meter square y range will be 3 to 24 meters since the seventh story roof will be at 24 meters height and x range will be as you can see x range will be from here to here which is 0 to 10.5 meters and y range will be 0 to 4.5 meters select add then 6 minus 6 kN per meter square will be from here to here so we select y range will be 3 to 24 meters x range will be 0 to 11 meters since this length is 11 meters and z range will be 6 to 10.5 select add and coming to next it is from here to here so we select x range from 14 meters to 24.5 meters and z range will be 0 to 4.5 meters select add similarly the last one will be x range will be 13.5 to 24.5 meters and z range will be 6 meters to 10.5 meters next coming to minus 7 kN per meter square y range will be same for all the loads coming to x range it is from 0 to 24.5 meters x range will be 0 to 10.5 uh, meters and z range will be 4.5 meters to 6 meters then comes the next from here to here which is 14 to 24.5 in x range z range will be similar select add and the last one is minus 8 kN per meter square y range is same x range is 10.5 to 14 14 meters since it is from here to here 10.5 meters here and it will be up to here 14 meters and y range will be up to 6 meters so select 0 to 6 meters select add and close the dialog box and you can view all the loads being assigned automatically once the loads are assigned then you can go to design tab select concrete select the particular IS code and define few parameters compressive strength of concrete will be 30,000 kN per meter square select add similarly yield strength of reinforcement will be 415000 kN per meter square same will be for secondary reinforcement and give the maximum ratio of steel as 3 percentage 
define commands define beam define column then take off assign this to the entire structure similarly the yield strength of primary reinforcement and secondary reinforcement then select design beam and select beams parallel to x direction and beams parallel to z direction and assign then you select design column and select beams parallel to y direction and assign to the selected beams once the assigning is over you can go to analysis and print select add then go to analyze run analysis save the structure the analysis might take some time depending op upon your ram once it is over you can go to post processing mode and view the deflections and other requirements Reactions are obtained by selecting reactions tab, stretches, graphs, animation. You can see the displacement section, displacement animation. Select reports. You can obtain the reports by going to output and whatever the details you require, send it to the other side load cases will be only single load case select ok in this way we can obtain the maximum moments whatever you require in reports if you need to transfer these reports to ms word select file select export report and ms word file Select save. Select open. The MS Word file opens and printing starts from beginning. You can see it up to the end of the report. It will be doing its work. So this is the end of the session, thank you.